a 2021 40 kilowatt hour uh, Nissan Leaf Tecna. And we turn it on. And this is the first display we get. And over on the left here, we can see that there are a number of dots. And there is one solid one and a number of not solid ones. So what this is showing us is that there are various displays up and down on this page. So to select one of those displays, we come over to the left hand side of the steering wheel. And if we push the down button, we can see that the display changes Now this is the standard display that I use. Go up one, go up two. And if we want to select a different page, we use the left or the right buttons. So if I push the right button, we can see that we can get into some various menus and briefly at the top it told you which page you were on so if we go to the right again we can see that there are a number of different pages up here so we're now on the battery page uh, there are four different views to this this is showing my current battery temperature which is within the safe zone if we go up one this tells me how much charge I've got in the battery and roughly how long it would take to get to full charge at six kilowatts. Go up again and it's a similar sort of display. Down one more and this is my the percentage of good battery that I have so at the moment it's at number one, which is telling me 100%. Okay, back to the standard display, which is the temperature one. And then if we go right one more time, this is all about the audio. This is the, there's only one page on that one. Okay, this is, uh, telling you something about your direction and where you're going. I don't use it that much. Okay, this view has two view, or well, this page has two views to it. And it tells you what your um, miles per kilowatt hour, etc. are. So that might be of use to somebody. And this particular uh, view shows you graphs for the last hour of driving. Okay, and then we're back on to my standard display. Now, the number of views on this page uh, may be different to what um, you can see. And what you can do is you can edit which pages appear here. So we're back to my standard display. And at the moment, I've only got four views selected, whereas previously I had six, seven, something like that. So the way to change that is to select the right button until you come to this menu. And then we go to Customize display. Okay. And then we want to look at the main menu selection. Click OK. And then we have at the top, you can see this is what will appear. So we've got the cruise control selected at the top. We have something to do with the radars. 
status and tire pressure. Now if you go one more down, you can turn on trip computer. So to do that, all you do is you just click OK. Come down again and you have a second trip computer. You might have one for work, one for pleasure. I don't know. Click OK. Come down again and then you have something for chassis control. And then you come down again and then you have traffic information which we could turn on. Go back up, let's turn them all on. There we go. And to go back, all you do is you click this button here to go back. And then we're back there. And then if we go left one, you can now see up here there are a lot more uh, views available on this page. So we go down, tyre pressures, yeah, won't work until we're driving. So now we can see what's in Drive Computer 1, Drive Computer 2, Chassis Control, not entirely sure what that's for. It's in the manual somewhere. And then we have the traffic sign. So that's if you can't see this one up here on the normal display. So as I say, I normally sit on this display here. So I hope this has been of use.